And now, Bookmarks, writers on books they love. I'm Eileen Gunn, author of Questionable Practices, and the book I'd like to talk about is Filter House by Nisi Shawl. Nisi Shawl is a fascinating writer. She's a short story writer working on her first novel, and this is her first short story collection, her only short story collection, though she's written a lot of other short stories. The collection was awarded the James Tiptree Jr. Award in, uh, I think, 2010 when it came out. And it's 14 different stories, each one in a different voice. Nisi is African American, and she's an incredible listener. So the voices of characters in the stories are extremely varied. You get a feeling, listening to the characters, some of whom are white and some of whom are black, of the the different ways in which people communicate. You can tell that one character is an elderly woman and that she's been in in service, working in people's houses as housekeeper. You can feel the intelligence in these characters as they talk to one another. One of the wonderful things about reading science fiction and fantasy stories is this feeling of immersion, of being immersed in a world where you're learning about it, you're figuring things out especially in a world where ordinary people have unusual abilities, magic abilities or sensitivities or technological abilities that we don't have now. And Nisi's stories bring you into a variety of different worlds like that. You don't know when you enter the story where you're going or what's going to happen. Nisi's stories work on a sentence-by-sentence level, the way that Samuel R. Delaney talks about science fiction. Science fiction is a way of creating a sentence that can go anywhere, and the reader follows that sentence without necessarily knowing where it's going. And Nisi's sentences work in that way. You read the story, you understand the story as it's unfolding, but you haven't really got a good idea of where it's going. It's a mystery. And it's, it's a mystery that unfolds with remarkable language. The stories are all so different that it's hard for me to categorize any individual story. There's a mystery story, there's a ghost story, there's stories of individual women struggling with themselves or with the environment or with other people. It's definitely a feminist book. I think these stories lead the reader into looking at the world differently, looking at everything, you know, the trees and the grass and other people differently. That's Eileen Gunn recommending Filter House from science fiction and fantasy writer Nizi Shaw. You can find lots more book recommendations on our website. Want to know what cult film director John Waters thinks you should read? Or how about cartoonist Chris Ware? or literary legend Margaret Atwood. Find that next great book to read at ttbook.org. Click on Bookmarks. And while you're there, keep an eye out for dangerous ideas from folks like Doug Rushkoff, Olivia Lang, and even Ralph Nader. The address again is ttbook.org.